What's going on, everybody? It's Mike. It's Jen. Uh, today, just just brace yourself. I mean, we got nothing but just horrendous news all day. Yep. Yeah, horrendous and one just kind of scary. Um, but these these are just gonna be kind of sad. It's gonna be a sad day today. It's it, it's kind of fitting. It's election day here. It's a sad day. We were supposed to do some positive news for today because election day, you know. Man, I don't know. Like, but this is pretty important to talk about. So we're gonna talk about it. So there's a news report out of Korea, North Korea, that. Um, the kids in North Korea are hinting at the parents, encouraging them. This is, I can't, boggles my mind. I can't even believe this. They are basically encouraging them to commit suicide because it costs too much for them to take care of their parents. And this completely goes against Korean culture, right? Because Koreans are like very respectful towards their elders and they treat that as a very important factor. Well, I feel like it's it's a very important aspect of traditional Korean culture. Yeah. But um, of course, North Korea is not, you know, it's under communist rule. Mm -hmm. Just like in China, that's why during the Cultural Revolution, a lot of the uh, traditional ideologies were, were abandoned, were destroyed. I mean, I feel like it's the same thing in Korea right now where it's really, I mean, you're not, I don't think you're allowed to believe in God in Korea. I don't think so because uh, obviously um, people, I hear stories of Christians going there and, and if you're a Christian, you're going to get arrested. Like same thing in China. If you go to a Chinese state sponsored church, uh, it's okay. But if you try to have a Bible study at home with your friends, that's considered a um, house church and you're going to be arrested in China. I mean, you're pretty much just a slave in North Korea, right? Right, I mean, North Korea is like even far worse than China, I feel, because it's, it's a totalitarian regime. It's, it's just crazy. And this guy, this dictator can do anything he wants to anybody he wants. So a lot of the values, traditional values in North Korea, I feel like have been abandoned. And now, and also people are so impoverished where this is an option. I mean, I don't feel like... Because they don't have money for medicine anymore at this point. And then so the children of the elderly, they're actually sticking these notices on their parents' doors telling them to commit suicide. Yeah. That is I mean, actually unbelievable. Can you imagine this? Like, you raise a child and then you're like, you know, you're old. I mean, a normal parent would be like, even like, even if you're not from Asian families, like Asian families, we even like live with the parents. Like mm -hmm. parents eventually move in. Yeah. And that's kind of like the way it goes, at least for Chinese, like parents move in, we take care of them, they look after our kids. That's kind of like yeah. the, the Chinese timeline. They anyway. don't like go to a retirement home. They just no. live with us for the rest of their life. Right, and even Western society, the kids make sure the parents are set up in a, mm -hmm. in a retirement home yeah. or, or make sure, that you, you gotta check in on your parents. That's your responsibility. Your duty. Mm -hmm. And even in China, there's a law that says if you don't uh, take care of your parents, you could be punished by jail time. So, but but here, can you imagine like just raising a kid 20, 30 years and then all of a sudden you get a notice on your door, hey, it'd be really great if you weren't a burden anymore. I mean, not just like anything, everything else aside, just the emotional trauma from, from that. I, as a parent, wouldn't be able to understand it. Can you imagine like most of these elderly, they're like Korean war veterans too? Yeah. Just the fact that they fought for their country and now someone's telling them to go suicide. Yeah, just and and so typically what elderly uh, people do in Korea is they leave um, they leave their homes in the daytime. They go they go gather together somewhere and try to not to create more responsibilities for their kids. And they come home at night, so they already are trying to be more considerate to their families, not to put any more burden on their families, but to like I don't know. I just I want to punch Kim Jong, little Kim, on the face. Yeah, like, see, that's the only way to solve the problem. Get rid of the leader. Because right now, no, no help is coming to North Korea because mm -hmm. it's, it's literally like it sealed itself. And, and the people are there are suffering. And there's this little tyrant sitting there, like basically, yeah, I got a new bomb. Oh, hey, I, I launched a missile. It fell, fell into the ocean. I can't ever launch a missile successfully. And this guy is just like, I don't know, what kind of position do you have to be in? Okay, let's forget about culture for a second. Let's forget about culture. Let's forget... Um, filial piety is like is like one of the bases of all Asian um, ideologies. Let's forget about that for a second. Just as a human being, that's a human being. Okay, it's your father or your mother, like elderly people. What's wrong with? Are that? you okay? I'm not saying everybody in North Korea is doing this, but this report came out, so it has to be. You know, there are people doing it. So you, you have to be in what kind of position do you have to be in where you are basically turning into a monster. You're not even human anymore. How do you call a person a human being or have any sort of conscience or any moral compass at all to be able to go up to your parents and be like, hey, mom and dad, thank you for giving birth to me. Thank you for raising me for all these years. Now, it would be great if you just go kill yourself. And what do you expect? Oh, your kid's gonna do the same? 
Meanwhile, the leader is just like working on his nuclear weapon. Dude, the leader, that little Kim, that guy's a joke. Did you know? Did you know? Like, there, there's a, they make up all these legends about him. Mm -hmm. Like, they're like, hey, his first day playing golf, he hit like what did I read? Like nine hole in ones. Like first time playing. Really, little Kim? Uh, Yo, you can't. You're shorter than that golf club. You can't hit a hole in one. God, like this is like, I mean, but anyway, that's that's yeah, besides the like, point. Yeah, because like when but, North Korea doesn't treat its citizens as human beings, they, then they kind of just like don't think of themselves as human beings anymore either. Right. And then in the end, they don't have anything left and they're at that desperate situation where they would even do such a thing as tell their parents to suicide. Right. I mean, the, the last time I heard stories like this uh, was like, I mean, really desperate times, like the great famine in China where there was a lot of cannibalism mm -hmm. like going on, but they, even within families. But I mean, literally people were like, you, you, you're, you're dead, you have nothing yeah. to eat. And I feel like it's North Korea in that similar situation. I have no idea, but like, I mean, to drive a human being to do this, I just feel like it's, it's implorable. I just can't believe this is happening. But let us know what you guys think about this report. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you. Bye.